What's going on, RV goers? Hashtag van lifers. We are in front of a Winnebago Rebel with a new paint job. Okay, so before we check out this Rebel, go ahead, like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on your post notifications, because you know us, we stay posting the best content in the RV industry, and teach you all the ins and outs of what's new, what you should stay away from, and what you should try to find. So, without further ado, let's check out this Rebel. Okay, so I'm at the front of the Rebel. So this is the, uh, like I said, the, we call it Raptor Coated. Uh, it's like Bedliner. It's really, really cool looking. Also super sturdy. So Rock Chip's gonna do nothing to this. A rock flies up, even you're off off road, and you know a, a branch hits it. That's not gonna hurt it. Now you've got this Rhino line. You can see down the side. You've got it on the lower portion of your van. So that's the part that where where tires, where your tires are gonna sling up rocks and different things like that, gravel. So it's not going to chip your paint at all. You've got that all down the side of this Rebel. And then even on your window, your little window extensions, it's got the Rhino line as well. Or I guess I should call it Raptor coating. It's got the Raptor coating as well. So I love the accent of this color. It's To me, it's like a Gobi tan. Um, the Winnebago calls it Pebble Gray, so I'll just call it Pebble. So with this black... Uh, with this black and the pebble, I think this is the best looking Revel I've ever seen. I mean, it's it takes a, a van that already looks, you know, rugged, already looks like it's ready to go off grid. It just makes it look all the more capable and honestly really BA. Like, I absolutely love this. So, we'll walk around the outside and just show you, just so you can get a, a better idea of more than me just telling you of how good it looks with this Raptor coating around the bases. So, in the inside, we're going to show you some of the bells and whistles that we have on this Revel. We've got a 320 amp hour lithium battery that's new on, on the back half of your 2023 Rebels. Also, with some of the early 2023 models won't have this, all of the, the later ones will. You've actually got an, another camera up front here from Mercedes, so that helps with parking and just basically you can have like an aerial view whenever you look at the dash inside of your van. So that's really useful if you're parking in tight spaces or really just to get a good idea of what's around you. Now also you've got this big heavy duty step here that Mercedes puts on, so whenever we pop the hood, we can stand on this no problem, it's easy to fill our def tanks, check all the stuff we need to check under the hood, and again it, it just it looks really awesome. So I absolutely love this look, this is the coolest one we've gotten. So let's walk around, uh, and actually I'm just noticing this too, this is new on um, these, these newer 2023s as well, you actually have cameras on the mirrors, I guess again helps with that aerial view. Um, that's a new thing. They didn't have that on the on the early 23s and then the 2022s. Um, so let's go ahead and check out the passenger side where your entry door is and show you some of the cool features this Rebel has there. Okay, so now we're on the side of the Rebel where our entry door is, passenger side. So you can see what I was talking about with this Raptor coating here. It's gonna, it, it, it looks so cool, but the practicality of it, it's just gonna keep you from getting rock chips, which is so nice. Because if you, you've got these other vans where it's just regular painted material, sometimes even painted plastic is what comes most of the time on the on the Sprinter vans and the Promaster chassis. And if a rock hits that, it doesn't chip as easily as paint, but the plastic can get some gouges in it. This is going to keep that from happening. Or if you're going down trails and you have have stick or brush, it's not going to do anything to this. It's basically bed liner. Also, we've got a heavy duty step here. I absolutely love this step with a. Uh, a little end here where you can tie a dog leash to that side or the far end. This also has an LED light underneath this that's really, really useful for if you're at a campground at night um, or if you're just kind of hanging out underneath your awning here. And the awning's got LED lights as well. So a cool thing to note about this Rebel. So this is a four-wheel drive Rebel. All the previous ones were four-wheel drive as well. What's going to start rolling out probably in the next year or so, they're going to an all-wheel drive chassis. Personally, I prefer the four-wheel drive. All-wheel drive, is it, it's got its benefits, but actually being able to change your differential and going to four-wheel drive is much more beneficial to somebody who's going to take this and truly do off-roading in it. You're going to have a lot more capabilities with the four-wheel drive as opposed to the all-wheel drive. Um, if you need a further explanation of that, do some of your own research. It's a little complex to ex explain on a video like this. So I, um, I've mentioned on previous videos, I'm a Jeep guy, so I love mods. I just love vehicles that I can do things to and make it my own. This Rebel is right up your alley. If you're if you're somebody who likes to customize cars or Jeeps or just, just leave your mark on things, you'll absolutely love this. So I've got a number of customers who even like to put, so the way that the door opens, so it only stops when it's all the way open. Now this just 
it goes into a, just barely scratches the surface about the mods you can get for this thing. So some people are like, I don't, I don't like that I have to open the door all the way. They make an attachment. Uh, I'm blanking on the website that has it, but an attachment that goes in right here and basically makes it where you don't have to open your door all the way. You can set it wherever you want, so you can only open the door partially, which comes in really useful. And you'll find the more you use this thing, that there are small things that make a big difference and make it a lot more comfortable because this is a heavy door. There's no doubt about it. Now, we've got our stylized wheels on this as well, completely tie in the look. These are the rims that the method tires and rims that are going to be standard on all the well added option on all the Winnebago Rebels. So it's not. It's not anything super special there, but I think it does tie it in very well. Now we've got our roof rack up top, and then we've also got our ladder, ladder that's a movable ladder. So the, you know, sometimes on, on RVs and even just vehicles, you have a roof rack, and a lot of times it's just for looks. They're kind of hard to get to. Since this is a removable ladder, and you can take it down from that back perch and move it all along the driver's side, you can actually get up on that roof rack and use it. So it's not just for looks. So I, I really, really like that. I'm somebody, if I have something, I'm going to use it. Sometimes use it too hard. So I, I you know, may, may break things, but I, I really like that everything on this Revel is very usable. So we're going to swing around, check out the back real quick, and then we're going to show you uh, just how easy it is to get to that roof rack on the side. Okay, so we're at the rear end of the Revel now. Now, I forgot to mention our awning on the entry door side is actually a 10-foot awning. So it's an armless awning. So instead of having like the swing down arms like you have on your old, old traditional type bands, where the arms are going to mount on the side and you can hit your head on when you're walking by. And this actually take away from that usable living space. These arms are integrated in, underneath the awning fabric. So it comes out, it's got a wind sensor. I'd always tell people, don't leave it up the chance. If you're not using your awning, I like to just go ahead and pull it in. I, I don't, you know, trust the, the wind sensor. They do work great, but I'm, I'm overprotective in that sense. But yeah, so you've got a wind sensor. So if you do forget to pull it in, the wind starts shaking it up, the rain comes too heavy, it'll pull it back in for you and keep it from ripping off. So I really like that. Now, as I mentioned, this ladder is a removable ladder. So we got, before I move this, we've actually got our backup camera back here as well. So as I mentioned, with the cameras that are all around this thing, you've got a really cool aerial view from inside on the dash that's very useful. So this ladder is removable. So you actually get good use out of it, or good use out of the roof rack, instead of basically just saying you have a roof rack or just having it for looks. You'll notice if you've watched any of our videos on the Travado, it's the same type of design where you have a ladder that you can take off of the back. It doesn't just look cool. It's not just stationary right there. It's actually a very usable ladder. So what I'll do, take this off extremely lightweight, come over to the roof rack here. Now you can really put this all along the van, really wherever you need to tie something up to. So you come up, step here, and easy as can be. Now you see we've got our solar panels, you may not be able to see from there, but we've got our solar panels here. So depending on what you want to tie down or also how you're going to be traveling, like if you're just going to have these solar panels covered up or one solar panel covered up for, you know, while you get to from A to B, then that's just fine. But nice, nice uh, real estate up here with the roof rack, very, very usable. Also, on the front of the Revel, you notice there's a little bar there. Now, you might have seen at the beginning of the video, I had the running lights on. So, you can actually wire a, depending on, and you can go number of different sites off of this, but you can actually put a light bar on the front of this Revel. So, I love the look of that. Like I said, I'm a Jeep guy, so I've got a handful of light bars on my Jeep. Um, I just, I just like the mods. Um, so, this Revel, very moddable vehicle. You've even got a, a two inch receiver back here. So you've got a seven way plug and a two inch receiver. So you can tow a small trailer if you'd like, like a little utility trailer. What I would probably use this for um, in, in my use is to add extra storage. Since anytime you have a 19 and a half foot van, you're not gonna have a whole lot of interior storage. That's normal on B vans, especially one that's on the smaller class like this. So what I would do is get uh, a cargo carrier, and they even make some now that go in the receiver, and then you're like, oh, well, I gotta, you know, I gotta reach over it to open my doors. They make them now, they actually swing out. So it'll get out of your way, and then you can open the rear doors with no problem whatsoever. Now, while we're, while we're in the rear of this Rebel, I'm gonna open this door wide, as you can see, very impressive. You can do that with both of these. So, on the rear of the Rebel, we have our screen here. Now, this is a magnetic screen, similar to as you've seen on uh, the Travado and the Solus. So I absolutely love the way these screens work. So just to give you a good idea. So basically, we're gonna go ahead and drop this. 
And then all we do is simply push like that and we're rocking and rolling. So I absolutely love the screen design on this. You can even unzip one of these inner panels to let some light come through and enjoy where you are. Like if you're somewhere where you've got a pretty view of a lake or the mountains. So I also want to show you the water panel hookups on the back of this. Very, very useful. I love the fact that they're inside. Uh, there's been differing opinions on this with the Travato, but with the Revel, some that's truly meant to go off the grid and go where other vans cannot go. I love the design of this water panel. So let's check that out. So we're in the cargo area, if you will, of your Winnebago Revel. So I just rolled up the screen, got that out of the way. Now this is our utilities panel here. So you don't see any black tank flush or anything that, like that because you have the five gallon cassette on this. I, I love cassette tools. We've gone over that a couple times in our previous videos. But as I mentioned just a second ago, we there's been some differing opinions on some people have Travados and Solus. So like I don't like the fact that I can't hook up my city water with the doors closed. And while, yeah, that could be valid in some cases, a lot of the camping that you do in B vans is not usually at campgrounds hooked into water. So you've got a good sized freshwater tank here. But what I really like about this is not only is this tucked away and it's put in a nice spot, you don't have like any like hose ends on the outside that make it look tacky. This is inside, so it's gonna keep it from freezing whenever you're using this. I mean, you run, you know, you use your, your battery heaters, you've got your furnace and your hot water here going. You're not gonna have to worry about this freezing when you're using the camper. Now, if you have that external hookup, then you run into a whole different problem. Now, I'm, you know, only speak of it, we don't really get too much freezing conditions here in Louisiana. But I love this panel because you can fill from your water tank. You can actually, uh, I'm sorry, you can do from your city water fill and fill your water tank. You can also use, like if you have like one of those big five gallon buckets of water, like you can bring that. Again, I've, I, I have a Jeep, so there are different applications on Jeeps where you can bring additional water. So with this, you can bring a five gallon bucket of water and use your water pump to siphon water from that tank to fill up the, the water, your water tank in your Rebel. So I absolutely love that. It just makes it where we can go off the grid for a lot longer. Okay, so we're at the battery compartment now of the Rebel. And like I said, 320 amp hour lithium battery here. So we've got a 250 amp breaker. And then also we have our 2000 watt Xantrex Freedom XC inverter. So with your lithium battery and with your inverter, you're going to be able to run your AC and whatever other bells and whistles that you have in here. Now, if you watch some of the older videos of the Revel, you might not know what it is, but you might say, okay, something looks different in this compartment. What is it? This is a different battery. So in previous, in all the 2022s, and then again, similar to how the, the cameras are on this chassis, a lot of the early 2023 models had two lithium batteries. Now they had two 100 amp lithium batteries. So this has a lot more lithium um, and it's just one battery as well. So you have 320 amp hours of lithium. And then <clears throat> as I mentioned, this is a lithionics battery. So it's a smart battery. So I, I really love, as a lot of people have grown to like, I really like apps for things. So you can get an app to monitor your, your battery usage. Basically you can know the voltage that's going into your battery. You can know the charging cycle, all that good stuff from your phone. Now the Xantrex inverter, you can actually get a Xantrex app and do the same thing from Xantrex essentially where you can control your inverter setting you can basically see the usage what's going in what's going out and then even with our Coleman Mach AC unit that's up top you can get an app for that set your AC temperature so I really really love the accessibility of this Winnebago the Rebels do a great job of, of making a, a, a rugged product that's also very versatile and very user friendly so I absolutely love that so we're going to swing around here so you can check out some of the front area, um, our captain's sheets and stuff like that. And of course I have to mention this, I love this dual pane window. So you've got dual pane windows all throughout this Revel. Now you'll get a better look of this when we lower the bed, but all the Revels have this extra cutout head or foot space on either side that at, at approach, it may not look like that big of a difference, but I mean, you're talking three or four inches on this side, then a couple inches on that side. So it makes it where a six foot person you might be kind of crammed if it didn't have these cut cutouts, but with this, you're gonna feel nice and comfortable and not feel like your head's getting swooshed. So in this dual pane window, just to show you this real quick, we've got our built-in day shade here, a bug screen. And of course these windows will open. And then also we've got our nightshade that's in here, tucked in nice. So it's not gonna be like an MCD shade that rattles when you're going down the road. This is tucked in very nice and pretty much gonna be silent when you're going down the road. So let's check out the angle from the front. We'll check out the bed, the captain's area, and also our wet bath as well. 
Okay, so I've got the bed now, the bed down now in the Revel, and you can get an idea for what I'm talking about with the extra space that's cut out. So you can see it from the outside of the van really easily, but from the inside, it's they blend it in seamlessly. So I really like that. But you have all this cutout, so you can lay side to side on this very comfortably without feeling like you're getting squished. So this is a very comfortable mattress as well. It raises and lowers without really any problem at all very quickly, so you can get it out of the way, no problem. Now you've got your AC unit above here. Like I said, you can get an app to control all your temperatures with this Coleman mop. So you've also got Ram track that are here, so you can add different Ram track accessories. Um, and then also you've got lighting, USB chargers, 110 plugs. Really, it's, it's laid out very nice. It's, it's minimalist, but it's very functional at the same time. So I really, really like that. Now, I'll show you in a second too when we raise up the bed. Below the bed, I forgot to mention earlier, you have tie downs too. So you can tie down your mount, mountain bike and just different gear, ice chest, whatever gear that you have with you. You can lift this bed up and you can tie it down. And then depending on what you have, you still have a good bit of ground clearance below here. So you might even be able to lower the bed and sleep while having your stuff tied down there, depending on what it is. Um, so that's really nice, very functional. Um, yeah, I like that. So we're going to go ahead and raise the bed up and I'll show you the tie downs that I mentioned. Okay, so we just put the bed up. You can see you've got tons of space underneath here whenever you've got the bed raised. Um, I, again, talking about mods that this has. So they even make a mod for the Rebel where you can basically turn this into seats back here, almost like bucket seats. So you get more seating and this is instead of just storage space, it's also seating space along with the two swiveling captain's chairs and your little, little two-seater couch here. Um, so in the back of the Rebel, You've got six different tie downs that you can use here in various different ways, whether it be bikes, ice chest, uh, you name it. I mean, you can tie them down here in, in a series of different ways and make sure they're secure and they're not gonna move. So I really, really like that. I love this flooring. I mean, this is a type of floor that if you do get a, you know, do get a heavy Yeti in here, or let's say you get something that's, you know, maybe you've drug around the rocks or something like that. Basically something that's not smooth and could damage a regular linoleum floor. It's not even gonna scratch this stuff. I mean, this is foolproof. I mean, you can't you can't hurt this stuff. So our cabinets here, I actually really like this cabinet. So the cabinet design, Winnebago does a really good job at making this like, a, sorry, there's our manuals there. Um, and making this a rugged and sturdy cabinet, but also this one's fitted with the color. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but a really actually pretty finish on it too. So not only is it very sturdy, solid, and steel line cabinetry, it's actually, you know, pretty appeasing to the eye as well. So we've got our sink here. So decent countertop space, not a whole lot. Um, that's as to be expected for a van this size. But what they did, if you've seen the, the Revels, it was one of the first, I think it was the first year they came out with Revels, maybe a year or two after um, they still did it as well. So they used to recess this induction cookware into the countertop. So, you know, maybe you get this drawer because it's recessed, but that's not really great countertop space. You can't cut on top of an induction stove. You don't want to break it. So now the induction is actually located in here or wherever else you see fit. You can take it outside. Um, you can move it around. So it's not, this is not recessed or it's not stuck anywhere so lo to lose you any space. Now, big sink here. I love that you have a big sink head. It's very easy to get my hands under. I'm a stickler for that. I don't like to hit my knuckles when I'm washing my hands. Um, and then even uh, the drain that they have here. So. You fill this up with water, basically just so you're not always dumping tons of water into the gray tank. You can just pull the water through there um, with your drain. Now you can see we've got a little accessory here to put maybe soap or uh, spices, salt, whatever you see fit there. Um, now to my left, we have got our wet bath. So in the wet bath, like I mentioned earlier, you've got your five gallon cassette toilet. So the five gallons are gonna be great it's very easy to use with the cassette. You don't have to worry about dumping at an RV park or a dump station. You can take that cassette out. It's got a little hand on. You can roll that thing around like it's a suitcase. You might look like a maniac, but you can do it. And uh, take it to a gas station or even if you got home and forgot to dump it, you can take it inside your toilet and dump it. No mess. It's, it's very, very, very simple. So inside this wet bath, you've got the toilet, you've got the shower, you've even got a little vent up here that will help air it out when you're showering or just help get some air in. Now, these bamboo shelving, I really, really like. I like the way they look. It just, it's, a, it's a neat look. But more than that, the functionality of it. So 
since it's bamboo it's not gonna it's not gonna hurt it for being like damp in here so if you like take these out take a shower and then put these back in here it's not gonna damage it. it's it's not gonna hurt it you're gonna be just fine with that so i really really like that design um yeah and also uh forgot to mention too you've got an extra clothes rack here so whenever you're if you don't want to use the bamboo store or the bamboo racks um and then if you're when you're not showering or using the toilet you can actually hang a good bit of clothes in here without problem you've also got a compartment to keep your toilet paper and your soap and different stuff like that dry so very well done on the wet bath it's tight as can be expected on a 19 foot uh b van but you know hashtag van life i know that's what y'all signed up for so i really like this little living area here we're going to flip the camera show you the captain chair that swivel around and also show you our little comfortable couch area here with our table now after that we're going to show you a couple things that i miss and wrap this up okay so i'm in the cockpit area of the rebel now so i've touched on this in some of the videos before that are on the mercedes chassis i just really love the automotive look of this i think it's absolutely beautiful um i love the big 10 inch monitor that you have here i love the adaptive cruise control feature also just it's a very it's a very smart system like i feel like with your apple carplay or android um you can just do a lot with it so i really really like this interface i like I like the comfortability of it because you get tons of foot, feet room and no shortage of cup holders. Probably 10 cup holders all along this thing. So I like that because when I travel, I like to have, you know, coffee, soda, water, gear. I like to have a few different drinks. I'm, I'm, I'm a man of many talents. So, you know, I, I like to water, sunflower seeds, pick, you know, you got to have it all. So you got plenty of cup holder space here. Now, both these chairs swivel with no problem. It's very easy to, you know, maybe move them back and forward a little bit. It, it doesn't take, uh, you know, an uh, engineering degree to figure out how to do that. Now, you've got a table, a removable table, so if you don't want it, you can move this and, and store it somewhere with the pole as well, but you have this table that will work well. You can play cards here or even just for eating. Now, the couch that you have on this little two-seater couch, so you've got two seat belts on there. One is a waist belt and the other is actually a three-point seat belt. So I know a lot of people now when I was a kid, we didn't we didn't travel with seat belts, but I know that now a lot of people really want seat belts, especially if like your grandparent bringing you know grandkids or something like that um, or even you know you can now they may attach or you can even buckle your dog in with a harness so that's not a bad idea either um, but yeah so they've got the seat belt there so one three point and one waist belt and then you've got dual pane windows again as I mentioned from the back on on both your your entry door side and the driver's side so those will open day shade night shade I absolutely love that so we're gonna flip around here again I'm gonna show you our control panel that's here on this Rebel. Really minimalist look, really clean. I, I, I really like that. And also we're gonna touch on the 12 volt refrigerator as well. Okay, so I'm buying the control panel now of the Rebel. But I absolutely love the way this is laid out. It's nice and clean. It's nothing that's that's too complex, too, uh, nothing that's gonna scare me. So it's all really simple here. So we've got our bed lift here. Now, I, I think I mentioned, but the, once I put up this bed, there's a, a I guess I didn't mention it because I didn't buckle it. It's literally a seatbelt buckle that you hook to that that keeps it secure up there. So what what better to keep something secure than a seatbelt, something we trust our lives with. So I, I love that, it's gonna keep that bed up. So our control panel here, we've got our bed lift. Now funny enough, you do have to have a key for it. I guess that's maybe if you have little ones right here, you don't want them to lower the bed when they're not supposed to or raise the bed, you know, vice versa. But we've got our bed lift here. So we've got our Rebel heating system here. This is gonna be for our furnace and our hot water heater. So I love this because you can actually do the, the furnace with electricity or you can do it through diesel so we can do another detailed video uh, that shows a little bit more in depth how to use this but basically we've got our furnace here it looks like a hot potato we've got our hot water heater here we've got a wrench and a screwdriver that's our settings and then this little twisted pipe that you see at the bottom that actually makes it where it runs off of electric so i really really like this system it's very easy to use when you want the furnace you just set your temperature like that and then pull it back down when you're done Oops, don't want it 90 degrees in here. Oops. There we go. <laughs> so we've also got our light switches here. So what I like about the Rebel is you can do a, a dimmer setting for the lights and a brighter setting for the lights. So basically, yeah, that one you get a better idea for. So I really like that. It helps you control the mood a little bit better. And then also on the opposite end, it helps you control or conserve energy. Even though these, these LED lights don't use a whole lot, the more energy can, we conserve, the more we can use our lithium batteries for the good stuff, the AC and stuff like that. So we've got our solar disconnect here. 
It's recommended that when you store this Rebel, you turn off the solar disconnect, and it's got a sticker down here. I'd recommend leaving those on. Um, so yeah, when you turn off your lithium battery, your 320 amp back there, you're going to turn off the solar as well. And then there's an inverter disconnect, a hard disconnect for the inverter back there that you'll also turn off. So this one place control here. So we've got our water pump control here. Now we've also got another control for the water pump in the back, another switch for it there. And then for our tank level here, we can read our fresh water tank and our gray water tank. So those are both very useful. Helps if, you know, when you fill up, you can read it simply based off of that. Now our cassette toilet, there's not really a gauge for that. You just kind of, kind of feel it out. Um, also, we've got our battery level monitor here. So this will tell you your chassis battery and your house battery. So up here in the right corner, we've got our inverter. What this does is it turns your 12 volt power into usable 110 energy. So you can use it on the AC or you have to use it on the AC whenever you're not plugged in. Also, you can use it for like your 110 plugs for your laptop and stuff like that. Now below that, we have our control for our solar. I will tell most of my clients that this is really mostly just for viewing. You can change certain settings in here, but it's going to come from us already ready to go. It's going to be set on the correct battery, the correct charging voltage. So you shouldn't have to change that much or really at all, really just for viewing here. Now, I love the cabinetry on here. I mentioned that not only is it very beautiful, it's very, very sturdy. Now you can see they put a 12 volt plug here, a USB or two USB plugs and one 10 plug. You've also have your pre-drilled roof access port to add your cell booster or your Wi-Fi booster, whatever you, you decide fits your needs best. Yeah, but I mean, could you hear that whenever I close this? This is, like, it's it's not gonna pop open whenever you're going off-road. I mean, this is snug. I really, really like that. So, our 12-volt refrigerators, I don't know if you know what I think about those. If you've seen any of our other videos, I love 12-volt refrigerators. I think they're fantastic. I don't really like the propane refrigerators, the 110 refrigerators, they're just, they're old, they're Stone Age. We don't need that anymore. The 12-volt refrigerators, compressor driven they cool a lot faster they don't have as many problems and they're just better <laughs> they're, they're a lot better they're not reliant on 12 volt i'm sorry on, on, on propane or, or using an inverter to have 110 power plugged in it's purely off our 12 volt lithium battery so i i i, I can't say enough good things about 12 volt refrigerators i love them so on our right, we've got another screen door that is like the, the screen in the back, so it's magnetic, so I love that, and it rolls down nice and easy. Now it's got, uh, I've, I've talked about this in one of our Travado videos, it's actually got the little foam uh, noodle in the bottom of it, so it makes it easy to roll up and roll down whenever you want to use it. Now, I'll show you one more thing that I miss that's on the outside, and it's our foldable table. So let's check that out and wrap this thing up. So. From the outside, outdoor area, you've got your dogs tied up nice and comfortable. We've got this heavy duty step. We've got our low point drains here for our fresh water tanks, uh, our fresh water tank rather. Access to the 12 volt fridge from here. We've got our little egg holders, boiled eggs, stay nutritious. And also we've got plenty of storage here for drinks and bottles and different things like that. We've also got a mini freezer unit on this. So I know it's not a whole lot, but it's nice. Some 12 volt refrigerators just have the fridge. It's nice to have that little separate freezer area there for ice cubes and, and small things and such. Now, I love the table that they have here. So right now we're pretty level, so I'm gonna have it at the medium setting. But this is a Ram track table here. So basically if we're somewhere in the mountains and we're at a way angle, I can change, we're at a crazy angle, angle I can change where this is hooked up so it sits level so i don't have to worry about my suit sliding down or my pancakes you know frying uneven i don't want that so i really really like this table i just really like the accessibility of this rebel i mean they it seems like they really thought everything out um yeah i feel like i've pretty much covered all the basics this thing does the videos don't do it justice you've got to come check one of these things out in person this thing retails right around two hundred twenty thousand dollars. now we're making some deals on these we've got a few of them in stock but we would love to show them to you they drive great. They're extremely capable. So we always appreciate you guys stopping by. Come see us. And as always, enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer. And if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day and enjoy the journey.